Hey, I'm Diana Jiahung. I'm the executive chef of Black Sea Bagels. We're gonna make bagels today. Start with body temperature water. Stick your finger in there and you're like, I don't feel anything. Then that's how you know it's body temperature. Like almost all other bread products, there's gonna be some kind of yeast. We like to stick with dry active yeast. Just drop that in there. Canola oil. Honey is the added Montreal aspect to black seed. We like to say black seed isn't strictly in New York or strictly in Montreal, it's really a hybrid. The great thing about being a hybrid, we have the choice of taking both aspects of a New York bagel, the softness and interior, and meshing it with the sweetness and the wood fire from Montreal. Water, the yeast, the honey, the oil, letting my yeast sit there and activate. And then after that, it's my dry ingredients. King Arthur high gluten flour, but you can obviously use any kind of bread flour you like. We just like King Arthur because it's a good medium grade flour. Another ingredient that's a little bit more specific to bagels is malt powder. This is always the scary part of starting. Okay, let's see. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna let it mix a little bit. I'm gonna add in my salt. Always put your salt in last. If you put it right on top of your yeast, it's gonna kill that yeast activity. So we let it mix a little, get, get a little shaggy. So you can almost hear it struggling at this point. Bagel dough is a really glutinous dough. That's what gives it that chewiness. So let's kind of pause it. Tilt it. It feels nice. You can almost feel the warmth of the water. It's gonna take a while to mix by hand. Start kneading and so you really want a dough that you can, you can touch and you don't even need flour to, to knead. I'm out of breath. Whew. When you hold it up to the light, you can kind of see light shining through it. This is called pulling a window. The fact that I can do this and it's not ripping apart is a good sign. It means all your glutens are, are worked and your, your strands are coming together. After you kind of get in a nice ball, you're gonna let it rest in an oil bowl covered for about 20 minutes, again, just to get that yeast activated. And then you're gonna portion it. You're gonna measure out four ounces. Once you portioned out all of your dough into four ounces, shape it into to a nice ball. When I first started making bagels, I was like, I'm not Jewish, I know, I know, I know you guys, probably all think I'm Jewish, but um, but you know, to, to pay homage and to really understand it, it was important for me to, to learn why the hell a bagel was even made in the beginning. Bagels come from a traditional Jewish, Eastern European background, but I think nowadays, I don't think people even connect the history of the bagel itself. Originated in Poland, in Krakow, Poland, I think around like 1614, and supposedly this Jewish baker made a bagel to represent the stirrup of the king. It used to not be as huge. It used to be really super dense, almost like a cookie. And it was like a lot, a lot smaller than, than we know of it today. After it's portioned into four ounce balls, we let our dough cold ferment about 14 hours in the fridge. By letting it proof overnight, it really enhanced the flavor and also the texture of it to get that nice yeasty bread flavor that you really, really want. We're gonna surround wrap it and put it in the fridge. There you go. And take it out. Beautiful. And now this is the fun part, this is the shaping. Since it's been proofing, there's naturally gonna be pockets of gas that are created by the yeast. To get that nice dense New York Montreal bagel, you wanna get the air out of there. Push down a little bit, kinda of shape it a little like that. I roll it, and then I make it into a rope. I wanna say it's about a foot long, and the key is you really want it to be super uniform. You don't really wanna be rolling your bagel like this. You really wanna have wide hands to give it as much surface from your hand, and then you're gonna pinch it. If you don't get this part connected, when you go to boil, it's gonna come apart. And then hardest push, and then you're gonna do a little wrist snap. Just keep going, keep going. And at first it's gonna seem like, wow, that, that hole is really big. But again, since bread is glutinous, you kind of see it shrinking already, right? And then as it boils in the water and as it bakes, this hole is gonna shrink. And of course, what I like about hand rolled bagels is, you know, they all don't look the same. You can kind of tell that somebody took the time to really shape and roll it. At Black Speed and most Montreal places use honey. It's giving it a little extra caramelization on the outside. So you don't want it at a rapid boil. You want enough yeast activity after you're done boiling where it's gonna have what we call 
a baker's spring. So you're gonna pop it in the oven and it's gonna get nice and, and round and beautiful. Let's drop these in here. Boil it for two to three minutes. Once that yeast starts getting activated, you'll start seeing them float to the top. You absolutely have to boil it to make a bagel. Yes, it might be the same shape as a bagel, but honestly, the boiling is really what gives it the chew, what gives it that shine, what gives it that crispiness on the outside. So these are ready to pull out. And again, how do I know? It's because when I touch it, it's not like creating a hole, it's kind of bouncing back at me. Let it drain a little bit. I'm just gonna toss it, pop it on there. Everything's all seeded. If you are gonna do an everything mix, you do wanna rehydrate this, let it soak overnight. And that's really the bagel shop secret of not getting like the burnt garlic. Now we're gonna pop them in the oven at about 425. This has been about 20 minutes in this oven. So, this is the black sea bagel. I do love a really, really hot, warm bagel. Look at that steam. I already had my bagel quota of the day, but you know what? I can't help but taste this because it smells really freaking good. Mm, yeah. You get a, a really crispy outside. I don't know if you could hear it. And then the inside's nice and soft. There's nothing better than a bagel that just came out of the oven and is like literally piping hot. It's like the best thing ever. For the recipe, just click on the link below or you just come to Black Seed and skip the whole cooking process. <laughs>steam kettles just piping hot where literally the guys would be almost like buck naked making bagels. I don't want to say that's how they got the hole in the middle, but <laughs> that's my little myth. <laughs>